Welcome back guys to tutorial number 6 of the HTML CSS series and in this video we are going to be learning how to add images to our web pages. Now we can insert any image in uh, our website using the image tag. But let's say we want to insert an image after this horizontal line. So open IMG and then now image is an empty element so a front slash and then the closing tag. Now image always takes an attribute called source. Now what exactly is an attribute? Let's say someone asks you to describe your best friend. Then you say well his name is Joey and his average height and has black hair. Now these are the characteristics of your friend and similarly <coughs> excuse me the attribute of an HTML element is nothing but the extra characteristics of your HTML element. Now, the image takes an attribute called source, which needs the path where the image is stored. So, the attributes are usually a name and a value pair. So, the attribute name is source, and then the value is the path where the image exists. Now, I have an image called friends in the same folder as the index.html so I can type friends.jpg there is also a second attribute called alt which is equal which is used to specify some text in case the browser is not able to load the image so this is friends image now when we go ahead and save it and reload it then we have an awesome image of friends. Now we can also specify the height and width of the image and that can be done using the height and width attribute. So let's specify width is equal to let's say 150 pixels 150 pixels and then height is equal to mm, 100 pixels so when we save it go back and reload it then we have an image which is 150 pixels wide and 100 pixels in height now a better way to specify the width and height is to use them in the style attribute so instead we are going to be making use of another attribute called style and this is equal to the first one is width and then you specify colon and then say 500 pixel and then put a semicolon and then height excuse me is going to be let's say 250 pixel now when we save it and reload reload it we say we have a image which is 500 pixels wide and 250 pixels tall so that's pretty much it about images we use the image tag to insert an image onto your web page uh, it has a source attribute which is used to specify where the image exists we have an alt attribute to specify some text in case the image failed to be loaded and we use the style attribute to specify the width and height of our image and there you go thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video